Hey, what's going on guys? This is another time lapse of me drawing one of my commissions. Now this particular one I actually completed quite a while ago, but I tend to take a lot of progression photos and videos and didn't want them to go to waste, so here we go. So I've started this one with the grid pattern. You might remember in early elementary school your teachers would give you these little art challenges where you're meant to recreate a drawing working from a grid. This is the exact same process. The idea is by isolating a smaller area of the photo you're working with, you'll have a far easier time recreating and drawing it proportionally. So now you're probably wondering what I'm doing with this weird scraping tool, when it doesn't look like it's doing anything. Well this is actually a pretty cool technique. What I'm doing here is scratching the paper in areas that I want white or highlighted hair to really pop. Then once I've done this, I can go over it with pencil and the graphite doesn't get into the divots. Thus creating the illusion of white or highlighted hair. Here's a quick example so you can see what I'm talking about in case you want to try it out yourself. Now I'm just going over areas that I'm still not happy with and trying to add more contrast to her fur. I'm hoping by adding dark lines or patches in with the white scratch marks I added earlier, it'll provide a little bit more depth and the illusion of surface below the hair. Alright, so here's the finished piece. Unfortunately, partly because I'm using a fairly low resolution reference photo, I've definitely had to add quite a bit of creative interpretation to the details. And as a result, I'm not as happy with the piece as I would have liked to have been. Luckily for me though, my opinion doesn't really matter in this case. It only really matters if the person I'm making it for is happy with the result. And in that regard, it was apparently a solid success. So coming up in the near future, I'm hoping to get some art streams going with some fellow artists. Hopefully keeping them relaxing while talking about all things art related. But mainly, for now, I'm looking to focus on learning comic illustration. And hopefully I can make it entertaining while I document the process. Thanks for watching everyone.